why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. Yeah, so honestly, Rach has probably got the best on this because she is the project manager. But um, one of the big um, things we wanted to do when we started was uh, we just understood that project management was like this weird um, part of a company where it's kind of like the nucleus. It controls all the work, all the, the how much labor gets distributed to people, how communicate where communication often comes from. And so we wanted to find a way to kind of improve our industry. So we started with training and kind of it's just evolved over the years into more consulting and coaching. And um, it started off training individuals as project managers. And now we're training full teams. Um, we just found like the, the impact was was much bigger as we kind of expanded our scope there. So, yeah, we have a variety of different things for different sizes and, and needs and, and things like that. Yeah, I think yeah. one of the kind of uh, side pieces on that is like, like when we look at encouraging the, the delivery teams to start thinking like owners, even when maybe they haven't moved toward a co-op model at all, they start to understand the language of business. They start to understand how to communicate differently. And they also know how, like what to drive towards. And that's something that most leaders are actively seeking from their team. So uh, project management is kind of this like, I don't know, it's like a little bit of a, a an invisible tool when it's working well to be able to actually guide that company in the right direction. And the training uh, gives people the voice they need in order to take their power back uh, in that org. So it's kind of a neat way to distribute that in a more equitable manner. Yeah, and I was, I mean, I was impressed on your website, um, you know, just in, you know, your kind of description of services that you focus not just on like kind of technical aspects, although you have, you know, obviously all of that kind of stuff, but on the human relationship yes. parts that, you know, that often get left out. And, uh, you know, another uh, aspect that I thought was very appropriate for, you know, being a new worker co-op, a newly converted worker co-op, which will certainly talk about, um, but is, you know, that fits in so well with the, you know, just the co-op world and the co-op model is your emphasis on education and not just, as you said, educating one person, but then giving them the skills to educate other team members. So, you know, that's our, you know, one of our principles, of course, you know, continuing education all the time. So that's a, yeah, it seems like a, a perfect fit. Um, and we should probably talk a, a little bit about your, so first off, tell me about the specific type of companies that you work with. Um, and just so people can get an idea of what, of what type of projects and stuff you guys are, are helping out with. Um, and then, you know, uh, talk a little bit about how you uh, came to convert to a, a worker co-op model. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, so go ahead. Um, um, I can talk a little bit about the first question. So um, we work with a lot of digital agencies. I would describe ourselves as a digital co-op. Like we're very much working with folks who make things that are not tangible um, when they come out, they're still online somewhere. So if they make websites or applications or they're designing marketing campaigns or they're supporting uh, in terms of just creating branding or um, yeah, branding and positioning uh, documents and things like that. So it's a very specific niche, but the thing is, is a lot of folks who work in those industries that connect with everybody else. If you're a product company, you you have a department that will do that. Or if you're uh, a service company that like makes tile, for example, you're still going to probably have a creative department or a mini team that is going to be uh, able to benefit from those kinds of uh, services. So we we really niche down in terms of our, our focus and work specifically with those those software companies that that do that type of work as a service for their clients and or internal teams if they are. Right. Yeah. And I, I know there's um, there's actually uh, here in the U.S. I don't know how it is in Canada, but um, that type of industry there are a lot of uh, worker co-ops uh, in the U.S. that are doing like web design and app design and stuff like that and absolutely and, and all and all different kinds of you know uh, technical these intangible services and goods and whatnot um okay so uh yeah so it, yeah it, why don't you give us a little bit of you know history of your your company which if Correct me if I'm wrong, but it has been just the two of you for a while and now has converted uh, officially to a worker co-op structure, if I'm correct. And I just want to 
Yeah. So um, it started off, um, we actually started as a kind of design agency duo, me and Rachel, um, about, yeah, in 2009. And so we would work with other design agencies doing freelance work. So I was a web designer and, and developer, Rachel, project manager. And so through the years, we were kind of doing that work, but kind of had these experiences from our peers and from working with these agencies where there was a, it was kind of like a benevolent dictatorship feeling where like, you know, there was a lot of false promises that would happen or, um, you know, they would, tr the owners might be like nice people, but then when it came to um, company decisions and, and when things got a little bit away from their vision or something else like that, that's, they, they, the experience would turn bad really quickly or like when things got tough then the layoffs would happen um things just got stressful people were treated worse and people were overworked other people were overworked and so we just noticed all these bad habits that were present in our industry everyone we knew was just you know working overtime for no extra benefit to at all so we hated that. And so um, at the same time, we were kind of competing with a bunch of other web design agencies for the same kind of work. So we decided to do something that played to our strengths a little better in that way. And so Rach also happens to have a teaching degree. So we tried to look at, OK, so project management is our strength. Um, teaching is a strength. And also we noticed like these horrible practices in our industry. And so we started off um, by kind of creating a bit of that, like turning into more of an education company. Um, we've had, we brought on a few people over the years to help with marketing and with training. Um, and so, yeah, 2017, we launched our first course and we very quickly brought on Abby, who is our other, um, she is our third member, our first new co-op member i guess so there's the three of us and so she's been with us for six years now yeah Rach, over six years um yeah and so over this time um we didn't really know much about co-ops when we started our company and then um i don't know it was like working with abby working with our teammates seeing everything in the in the industry we didn't want to produce become what we hated about the, the industry to begin with. And so um, I, I happened to read a book by John Abrams called Companies We Keep. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just chronicles his own journey into becoming a co-op and what it looked like and a lot of the problems they encountered and solved. And I just, I don't know, we thought it was pretty beautiful and inspiring. And it kind of was a catalyst for like looking into other models and things like that. And then I think eventually we just, we reached, I reached out to our local provincial co-op uh, association and they kind of, they trained us, they provided some co-op developers for us. And then we kind of went from there. It was just, for us, it just made ideological sense. It made more sense in um, just hearing about how co-ops were resilient through like hard times, how there were, it just gives you more options and it's a different way to look at business that just kind of was more in line with how we wanted to live. Yeah.